It's got this amazing zing in there. It is saucy to perfection. When you put that poppy chulo sauce on top, it's gonna have you ay ay ay. That's nice. La la, <laughs> everybody, bamba. <laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Redwood Credit Union offers personal and business banking, mobile access, and nationwide ATMs. It's banking for people who call this home and the future we're building together. Redwood Credit Union. transplant procedure that didn't just save one life, it saved six. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. We have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, fitness coach and trainer Kenny Campos takes us for signature pizza in Berkeley. And food blogger and amateur culinary contest cook Ava Romero finds the perfect roadhouse just outside of San Francisco. But first, video producer Rochelle Rabin takes us to her Mission District haunt where she often brings her friends from out of town. Offering an Italian menu and an interesting cocktail program that has a secret menu if you ask for it. This is Beretta. We've been open for over 10 years, almost 11 years, and we have been busy since day one. It's been a great, a great run, and it's still the same, seven days a week. We're open late every night, and we serve food and cocktails until 1 a.m. My name is Adriano Paganini. I'm one of the founders of Beretta Restaurant. Back then, we were one of the first one, if not the first one in San Francisco, to start the old trend on fancy cocktails and mixology, which was the term that was used back then, 11 years ago. The food is solid Italian food, solid and simple, but always delivers. So you can have pizza, you can have amazing risotto. We're actually specializing in risotto. That's the right pronunciation of risotto, which would be the not so right pronunciation. The vibe is really one of the other reasons that people come back. You can always count on a lot of people being here, and so the vibe is always fun. It's always like there is a party going on. You can come here on a Tuesday night and it's raining and there is really not that many people out there, but here it's busy and there are a lot of people partying and having fun, and so it always feels good. You can always count on it. All right, Rochelle, now when you say you take guests from out of town. How long have you been doing this? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's been around a decade. I had a friend who lived in the neighborhood and she brought me there the first time. And from that time on, I was just amazed at the quality of the food and how right. fun it was and festive. And, and is there a certain dish that you get when you mm. go? So the pizza is one uh -huh. of my favorite things. Yeah. I love the margarita pizza. Uh, it's got this amazing tomato sauce and it has a little zing in there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's right. best part of the pizza is that when you pick up a slice, it doesn't just droop down like a weird mm. noodle. It just holds its shape and it's crispy and crunchy the whole way through. Did you have the pizza too, Kenny? I have to agree with you, Rochelle. I had the hot salami pizza. It was smoky. It had uh, that nice uh, spiciness from there's a specific type of pepper that they use on that. And I agreed, I love the fold on the pizza. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it holds its fold. Yeah, it holds the fold. All right, and <laughs> Ava, when you uh, went to Beretta, tell us a little bit about your experience. As we went to the restaurant, uh, we just wanted to check out uh, the decor and the music. And I find the music was so loud and I thought it was going to be an upscale Italian stallion restaurant. Mm. <laughs> but the food was good. Mm -hmm. The pizza right. was delicious. I love the risotto Ooh. was really good. 
I actually had the English pea risotto with ham, and it's the scrumptious dish. Mm -hmm. And it's like your mom's cooking right there. And what kind of pizza did you have? Um, I also had the goat cheese, uh, zucchini, mm. and uh, the veggie pizza. Mm. And it was made with bacon, and it was really crisp, and it was melting your mouth, and it's California fresh. Did your grandmother like that one? My grandmother, she couldn't even chew on it, but she <laughs> loved it, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, but she loved the risotto, though. Good. So at least she could enjoy that. Yeah. Exactly. What else did you have? We skipped the over antipasti. Okay. Yeah. We skipped well, over the antipasti. Good. What are we doing here? So, antipasti here we had the calamari fritti mm -hmm. and the Dungeness crab ar ar arancini. Arancini. Mm -hmm. arancini. Little rice balls. Little rice oh, balls. Oh, I had that too. Mm -hmm. The arancinis oh. were so good. Me and my dad shared the arancinis. It was like the best arancinis. Well, I like that they were generous with the, the mm -hmm. crab inside. A lot of times you yeah. can fill it with, you know, with the rice or with the cheese. It wasn't greasy. It was, had a nice crunch to it, mm -hmm. and the, the the aioli sauce on the side was was excellent as well. And with the calamari fritti, uh, I also liked the uh, the peppers that came along the side of that. It was a nice cornmeal crust. Mm -hmm. I will say maybe on both of them, I would have liked a little extra salt. Mm -hmm. That was the only only comment right. that I had on that. Right. Mm -hmm. What else do you get, Rochelle? When you one of the go. things I love there is the meatballs. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't like meatballs at all ever. Or meat loaf. Well, we can't be friends, so. Right. <laughs> but the, the meatballs there, I really, really love. The sauce on there, just it has that same zing something in there, that some flavor that really just makes it pop in your mouth. Yeah. It's warm. It's and one of your favorite dishes. It's one of my favorite dishes right. that they have. Did you wash that down, those meatballs? Mm. We did. We all did. You pair did. That? Some of us had wine. They have a really nice Very lovely wine list. Mm -hmm. And their cocktails that they have are really I say handcrafted or artisan, sure, but they're absolutely. really well made and I feel thoughtfully made. My, a friend of mine did get the, there was a nice ginger spritzer and mm -hmm. that was refreshing. I like to eat my calories personally, got to pick right. my spots as a coach. <laughs> uh, but one, one thing I think we're skipping over as well is that ambiance. Mm -hmm. I think the ambiance, I didn't feel that the music level was off-putting personally. Right, I, yeah. I actually commented when we, when we were in there, I told my wife, I'm like, this is a great place for a first date. Right. And she oh. says, well, that's, you're not going to get another first date, you know, honey. So I don't know what you're thinking about that. <laughs> but there, it's but high energy. Of, it's right. high energy. There's always a, a good amount of people in and out. You can sit at the bar. You can sit at the communal table. Mm -hmm. But you can ask them for their, their special secret hidden cocktail okay. menu. Yeah. That it's called the field guide to birds. So their drinks are named after birds. Right. Have you had any of those cocktails, I Rochelle? Haven't, because oh, because I'm always swayed by the ones on their list. I, I can I never see. get past the first list. But you knew there was a secret menu. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. And yeah. now everybody now does. Now yeah, okay. everybody so knows. It's no longer We're secret in the anymore. Know. Now we can get to desserts, Ava. Okay. <laughs> we had a chocolate a sorbet, uh, the gelato. And I find it to be the best dessert of the night. I think we had the same mm -hmm. one. It was the hit of the evening, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think it was the combination of the ice cream with the sauce on top. Yeah. And I think it was like a caramel. And so everybody mm. just raved. Man, I'm they missing out. It. I didn't get the cocktails, didn't get I'm dessert. I'm telling you, Kenny, well, you're too healthy. Well, a beautiful <laughs> spot. But here's the thing. You're walking distance, and they're in the mission, to some other excellent restaurants. Mm -hmm. So I like to go to for dessert at a dessert spot. All right, Rochelle, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. Breda is a place that you can go again and again and get great food, great service, and a great ambiance. All right, and Ava? Uh, wonderful service, uh, wonderful waiter who took care of my grandma. I would definitely come back in the, in, with good Italian food. Um, if they turned the volume down, that would be good, <laughs> but I would definitely come back. All right, and Kenny? Beretta, Mission Mainstay with fantastic service, romantic setting, and excellent eats. All right, if you would like to try Beretta, it's located on Valencia Street at 23rd in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-695-1199. It's open for dinner every night and brunch on the weekends. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $25. Ava's Pick has been a family and dog-friendly restaurant serving up an eclectic mix of Italian, American, Filipino food. Originally a toll gate on the road to San Francisco, this place has been around for 161 years. 
These days, you'll find live music every night and a special menu for your canine companion. This is Seven Mile House. Seven Mile House. My name is Vanessa Garcia. I'm the owner of this baby, the historic Seven Mile House Sports Bar and Grill. Cheers! Been the owner for about 14 years now. Started off with absolutely no experience. Two of you, right? Me and my mom jumped in with both feet and we just did it. As immigrants, this experience actually gave us a good education into American culture. We really want you to have a great experience with the food, the drinks, the live music, and also the history. Seven Mile House was a stagecoach stop back in the mid-1800s during the gold rush. And these mile houses served as stagecoach stops, rest stops, restaurants, bars, hotels, and even brothels. We also do a lot of community fundraising. So one is our adobo cook-off, which happens every year. And it's a way for us to talk about Filipino culture, celebrate one of the most popular dishes that we have in the Philippines, and also create that camaraderie in the community. Come join us. We have a great vibe that we're very proud of. Every night is a great night for music. We're very fortunate to be able to take care of this historic spot. Very, very fortunate. Now, Ava, you have been going to Seven Mile House for about five or six years, right? Correct. I've been going there for Seven Mile House for five years, baby. Five years. <laughs> and what is it that you like about Seven Mile House? I first love was adobo. Mm. Right. And it was really comforting, melt in your mouth. And this lady named Vanessa Garcia. Well, Vanessa Garcia, right. She is the mm. owner and she yeah. takes care of her customers. Mm. I mean, being there 160 years to yeah. 1858, wow. It was the, one of the of the mile houses mm -hmm. on the road between San Jose and San Francisco. That's right. So it was mm. seven miles from Portsmouth Square, downtown San Francisco. They have a lot and, of the pictures right. of that yes. on the walls. We were enjoying looking at those and reading about the history. And I think at one point it was a brothel, too. Mm. <laughs> Is that on the secret menu? <laughs> <laughs> but Vanessa uh, took it over uh, uh, more than a decade ago and certainly yeah. introduced sort of a Filipino twist mm. to some of the food. So what do you start with? What's your I usually food? start with uh, mm -hmm. these yeah. fried loops. Is. They're filled with meat and a fried wonton, Ooh. and they're so juicy. Mm -hmm. We started with the lumpia as well, mm -hmm. which just dis disappeared right away. And we also had the chicken wings, the buffalo wings, mm -hmm. and they were super crispy and moist on the inside. I, those were probably my favorite. Right. Yeah. The menu uh, initially well, I was overwhelmed. They have a little something for everybody on this list. I could see myself going there with some friends, and it's really just got a cornucopia of options mm -hmm. for you on there. Mm -hmm. Is there another favorite dish that you have? One of my favorite dishes to get on the menu is this hot plate called the Sig Sig. Mm -hmm. yeah, they give you a raw egg to cook in it with the meat and rice, and then they bring it to the table mm -hmm. and mm. cook the raw egg, and it melts in your mouth. And that's really a Filipino dish. Mm -hmm. that it is, is a, a Filipino classic. specialty. Absolutely. That looked adventurous. Yeah. I, w I didn't have, uh, I didn't, it was too little too adventurous for me for the first time anyways. Maybe I'll go back. And what <laughs> did I'll you, try next time. Uh, next time, I'll try. What did you have after that? We were there on a Sunday, and so on Sunday they have a barbecue menu. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, okay, this is right up my alley here. And we did, I did the baked beef brisket. And that was definitely melt in your mouth, you know, tender. Mm -hmm. uh, it was definitely a filling plate and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I had the Cajun catfish mm. over uh, potatoes, and it was beautifully cooked, lots of Cajun spices, not as much flavor as I would have thought it would have had mm -hmm. with all the spices on it, but it was good. Um, there was a burger. Somebody had the Seven Mile Burger, mm, which yeah. was piled high with mm. bacon and cheese. She added cheese to it, and it was a um, big puffy bun. Mm -hmm. It was good. So let's talk about the adobo. It was the pork adobo that is the best of Seven Mile House. Mm. They make it from scratch, saucy to perfection. And they also have a cook-off every year. Every July, they have an adobo cook-off. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was a competitor. It got fourth place. Oh, good. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so you know how to make some adobo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Saucy you... to perfection could be your nickname, Leslie. <laughs> 
Okay, saucy to perfection. <laughs> oh, I'll take that. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> not overly, right? To, to, to perfection. <laughs> to perfection, not too spicy. On the line. Just enough. <laughs> And talk about that ambiance that's in the mm -hmm. place because this is a spot that is mm. a destination and one of those things you would not, if you drove by it, mm -hmm. you might not stop. My friend and his girlfriend were dog sitting that week and they had called and said, you know, can we bring the dog? And they said, yes, so they mm. did. But it was too cold for us to sit outside and they couldn't bring the dog inside. Mm -hmm. So be aware. Be Again, aware. If you're going to bring your dog, it's friendly Most if definitely. you're sitting outside. The menu was super cute because they have happy hour and yappy Ooh. hour <laughs> for the dogs. Um. Are there any other dishes that you enjoyed or desserts? <gasps> Go! The funky monkey. The funky monkey. Oh my gosh. It's like banana bread slices with fresh banana on top. Mm. There's chocolate along the bottom and some toffee sauce. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too sweet. It stole the show. Oh, nice. It was I amazing. actually had the ube cheesecake made by the Ooh. mama, mm -hmm. Leah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is so good. Mm -hmm. And this cheesecake is made with love and it's mm. made with coconut. Mm. And I love this cheesecake. It's made pure heaven. And what did you have to drink? I had the Renaissance Man, which I enjoyed so much. I had two. Oh. <laughs> um, my friend had a couple of Bloody Marys. You had two Renaissance Men. I had two Renaissance <laughs> Men. They didn't come home with me, though. They tried. <laughs> this is PBS, otherwise. Oh. <laughs> well, I had the Josie Fruit Tea, the mocktail. Mm. And, that's, and the mocktail was sweet, but it was delicious. Mm -hmm. And this is your spot, Ava, so give us a quick summary. If you want to try the Lupias in the heart of the Seven Mile House experience, you got to visit the historical Seven Mile House in the heartbeat. And Rochelle? I would say if you're looking for some great jazz and great cocktails, it's definitely the place to go. And Kenny? Seven Mile House, Bit Brisbane Bar, serving a pub grub with a Pinoy twist. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to try Seven Mile House, it's located on Bayshore Boulevard at Geneva. The telephone number is 415-467-2343. It's open for lunch and dinner every day with brunch on Sunday. And the average meal per person without drinks is around $25. Post your favorite food shots on Instagram with the hashtag Bay Area Bites and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. Kenny's spot in Berkeley serves one thing, pizza. And only one is featured each day. It's a pizza shop that's also part of a cheese collective offering 400 different cheeses. If you're looking for a distinctive pie in Berkeley, look no further than Cheese Board Pizza. So 10 different bands come in here every week and play. It not only is a really wonderful place to bring children and listen to all kind of American music, we've managed to pump a lot of money into a lot of good musicians' pockets. My name is Steve Manning, and I'm a pizzaiolo here at the Cheese Board Pizza. The most extraordinary thing about the Cheese Board Collective is the worker-owned and operated aspect, the democratic workplace, which very simply is share and share alike. And that means not only on payday that we share evenly, but in the day-to-day decision-making, everybody gets a say, which empowers people and makes people feel a lot happier. Done. And who do you want making your food? Happy people or not happy people? So we try to stay happy here. We buy all these vegetables for one day so that they're time for peak freshness. We're in, we're out. We don't gotta stretch them for a month like most people try to do. And, uh, on a day like this, we do about like 17 to 20 racks. Each rack holds about 20 pies. So if you wanna do the math, that's a lot of pizza. <laughs> Plus, we're buying in a lot of quantity, which also allows us to make not only a very fresh, nice, seasonal pizza, but it allows us to make a lot of pizzas, which is one way we can provide a living wage for so many people in the collective. So it's a very, very powerful part of our strategy here. All right, Kenny, a place that serves 
one pizza. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make a lot of business sense to it when you think about it, but there's lines out the door, right? You know, I love the simplicity of this place, right. Leslie. Uh, I mean, I've, I've enjoyed pizza in Chicago, in right. New York, in Italy, and I would, I would challenge you to find a pie as unique, distinctive, and delicious as the cheese board. Right. You're right, they do. I, I was very skeptical when I first heard about this place. Veggie pizzas? Like I'm kind of a traditionalist and, mm -hmm. and like I make potatoes on a pizza, mm -hmm. corn on a pizza, uh, butternut squash on a pizza. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. But then you go there and this was my, I think, sixth time going, Leslie. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that I've noticed that it didn't have sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Like it was just this amazing crust, again, holds the fold and the balance of the elements on top with the, the unique cheeses. I didn't realize they had, you know, hundreds, uh, hundreds well, of cheeses to choose from. It's a collective right. of, of cheese producers. Right? Local ingredients, as mm -hmm. organic as possible. But I've, I've been, yeah, half dozen times and never left disappointed. And what is one of your favorite pizzas? Oh my gosh. You know, over the summer, because they do seasonal as right. well. There's a lot of seasonal mm -hmm. ingredients. Over the summer, there was a cilantro, Oh, and, you know, no matter when you go, you got to put the poppy chulo sauce on top. Uh -huh. Like, you know, and that's the beautiful thing, because you know the the savory uh, and fatty pizza. When you put that poppy chulo sauce on top, it's gonna have you ay ay ay. That's nice, real good. <laughs> it, it adds that citrus and that nice spice element to whatever it is. I can't I can't pick a favorite, Leslie. Right. I can't you pick can't. a favorite. You can't. can't do it. You're just you're the meat lover, but you'll eat the vegetarian. Well, you know, that, that's the thing. I was I was honestly surprised that I would prefer that pie. Oh, I mean, to me, it's the best pizza in the Bay Area. Well, that's a big tall order. That is a big Rochelle, tall order. what was your experience? So because they only have the one flavor, it was tough for me to find a day that I liked the flavor mm. and I could go and a friend could go and also like the flavor. Mm. Right. So that the scheduling part was probably the most difficult piece. Um, and the day that we went, it did have potato on it, which I love mm. potato on a pizza mm. and mm -hmm. Gruyere mm. and mm. Um, garlic oil and spices. It was really good. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. And we did have to wait a little bit, mm -hmm. but because they're just slinging one pie after another, it's right. the one pie, the moment you order, it's there. Oh. And you can order a slice or you can order a whole pie. Half a pie. Right. We ordered the full pie, just my Come friend on. and I. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some red wine, which they filled to the top. Um, we in had a little tumbler. Yeah. In a little tumbler, <laughs> but to the top. Mm -hmm. right. And they gave us the pie and then they like, tossed a few more pieces on there. Road slices. Yeah. So that what you're taking <laughs> yeah, home from your totally road. Totally road. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it was amazing. And so um, there wasn't any space inside. Okay. We had this kind of standing room only outside. and. It was a little chilly, but yeah, it was good pie. You're not going for the, you know, sit down white no, tablecloth experience not at all. here, right? And it was a great price and it delivered. Right. right. And oh. Ava, what was the pie that you had, the pizza when you went? When I went on a, during the weeknight, I actually got the, um, the cauliflower parmigiano crust pizza they had on the pizza of the day. And it was with my brothers and I went together. Mm -hmm. And what we did is we got the whole pizza. Wow. And we actually got salad to go with it. Mm -hmm. And then it was a slice of heaven. The lady was very generous. She gave us extra slices. Sure. A sidera, they often call that in Brazil. Oh. A little extra. Okay, yeah. what yeah. you yeah. paid for. Look at the knowledge. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, maybe for beers, but I, I'm going to go with the pizza, <laughs> okay. sidera pizza too. And plus, we just had, um, they also, I also got some root beer and all, and they, mm -hmm. and they got ginger cookies too. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. We had the salad. Mm. It was, you know, fresh arugula. It, there was supposed to be cashews and currants and so forth in it. And my friend was like, do you see any cashews? And we were turning the thing. We saw a few cashews. The salad was underwhelming but that's not why you go there right you're, you're going there for the pizza and we ate we ordered the whole pie we had the rogue slices and mm -hmm. oh, we slice we like devoured it we didn't have room for dessert right it did you nice. feel like this was an affordable pizza Ava it was very affordable it was under fifty dollars for a family of three people mm -hmm. and we shared the whole pizza together and we kind of gobbled <laughs> <laughs> you gobbled it up, yeah. but it is affordable. You definitely. feel like that, yeah. it was a great value mm -hmm. yeah. for mm -hmm. for the, the what we got. Definitely, I mean, round, and round a, table or cheese board. <laughs> come on, come on. Like yeah. We were Go talking about the, the same board. price, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and there is a cheese yeah. shop mm -hmm. next door, mm. yeah. so you can go in and and browse those hundreds of cheeses mm. that are on offer. It was closed when we were there, but we mm -hmm. were standing in the line, and so we're looking in the window. We mm. really wanted to go in and see. But circling back on the ambiance, uh, the live music. I mean, whether you go for lunch or whether you go for dinner, there's always you know, some kind of jazz. I love that guy said the Bamba song. It was mm. beautiful, like, la, 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 la. Everybody, Bamba. All right. So music and pizza? 
What more could you want in life? All right, your spot, wrap it up for us. Cheese board pizza, Berkeley hotspot, dishing out the best veggie pizza you'll ever enjoy in your life. All right, and Rochelle? I would say if you're in Berkeley and in the mood for pizza, and you like what they have on offer that day, check it out. Okay, and Ava? Definitely check it out. It's the best pizza in Berkeley, and it's, oh, and they just, it's delicious. All right, if you would like to try cheese board pizza, it's located on Shattuck Avenue in Berkeley. The telephone number is 510-549-3183. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Saturday, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $15. I want to thank my guests on this week's show, Rochelle Rabin, who invited us to her Impress Your Friends spot in San Francisco, Beretta. Ava Romero, who introduced her family favorite for a little night music in Brisbane at Seven Mile House. And Kenny Campos, who shared his perfect pizza spot in Berkeley, Cheeseboard Pizza. Now, we really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Or better yet, post your favorite food shots on Instagram with the hashtag Bay Area Bites and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash check, please. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and where you'll find my notes on the wines and libations we're drinking today. So join us next time when three more guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check, Please! Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers. Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by the Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com It's the transplant procedure that didn't just save one life. It saved six. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Redwood Credit Union offers personal and business banking, mobile access, and nationwide ATMs. It's banking for people who call this home and the future we're building together. Redwood Credit Union. Cooking is the first kind of love you know. It was starting when I was a child, with my grandmother doing fresh pasta, and now I transmit it to all the guests. It's something made specially for them. Oceana Cruises, proud sponsor of Check, Please! Bay Area. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com.